Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So finally we are seeing here some signs of a breakout on Bitcoin. We are fighting currently the next target that we had in case of a breakout here to the upside. So in today's video we're going to analyze and have the daily TA and then also we're going to have a look on Nasdaq and the S&P 500 quickly. But as you can see right now, Bitcoin is having an attempt here to have a possible breakout towards $10,000. And so far we reached our first target where we expected some resistance here to, at of around $9,400 to $9,500. The breakout is still ongoing. So in case that you want to make a little breakout trade, so in case that you want to go long right now, this could be the good opportunity to go long and put in a market order like we did yesterday over on uh, BTR with Tether. Here we had yesterday in the live stream a little trade. So far we have 30% profits. And uh, as I told you, if you want to trade safe, then maybe wait the price to come down and to confirm that right now $9,200 is the new support. So I would wait here in case that you want to scale in a bigger trade like I'm going to do also over on uh, Bybit. Uh, after we're gonna get this confirmation here that 9200 is the new support we don't have to go necessarily down here to retest but most likely we will have here a retest of this 9200 to 9250 level before then we start to take off towards 9500 and also to possibly break it and test 10k again so here in the one hour you can see that currently we are overbought in stochastic and also rsi i'm waiting here for the confirmation to scale in a bigger long position here on bybit with some bitcoin also i'm keeping an eye here on the one minute time frame because here uh, we also can see in the one minute if we're coming down here and retest this region down here at 9200 this should be the confirmation in case that we bounce from it that the old resistance is now new support and this is what we're gonna uh, see in case that this breakout is uh, valid if we have a look here on the volume in the one hour time frame you can see that we have quite decent volume kicking in right now and if we continue to pump like this uh, all in the four hour and daily time frame we're gonna see some nice volume coming in here and this will also further confirm uh, the breakout so right now we are getting here in overbought condition in one hour and that's why keep an eye here in case that you want to trade it for a retracement and a retest of the new uh, possible support also here in the bollinger band you can see that currently we are still overshooting it to the upside so a retracement back here towards 9280 at the top or maybe even down towards the middle of 9200 dollar is very possible and this is where you should scale in your long position if you want to wait for confirmation otherwise already now is a good time to put in a long position on Bybit with cryptos or on BTR with some Tether. If you need one of these exchanges, you find the sign up links down below here in the video description to get some sign up pony, support the channel, and also you can immediately start to trade. No KYC, nothing. Just put your email and you're already signed up on those exchanges. And now let's go over here back into the bitstamp chart and let's open up the four hour time frame because as you can see we beautifully broke here this 200 moving average immediately with the first candle here and currently we have to start to build up support above so I think it's very likely that we will go down to retest the 20 or 200 here at around 9240 before we maybe have the big push here to the upside. But this breakout here always is a good sign when we see this initial move here. Already yesterday when we already had these little weeks here to the upside was already a good sign. And uh, that's why I also put in here this market order yesterday on BTR. And now for the bigger trade I want to wait for this confirmation so i want the price to come down and confirm that we have now the old resistance acting as a support before entering the trade and the target of this uh, falling wedge that we were in here in the last couple of uh, days is at least here towards uh, nine thousand nine hundred dollar if you're able to break it then watch out for eleven thousand because that uh, could be the most bullish scenario for this breakout and that would be more than 10 percent without leverage to the upside so if you go long or if you already went long congratulations i know some people on discord already went long like me yesterday so congratulations you're already in profits but as i told you 
it is very likely that we go down to retest it but let's see what will happen in the next couple of hours if we have this confirmation then go long my friends that is a very good opportunity um, to trade bitcoin without touching any altcoins nothing just stay uh, on the big boy here don't go into altcoins also on bitcoin you can do some nice profits if we're seeing right now this breakout and you can of course also go with leverage over on bybit or bityard so you can get even more gains without leverage i think you can also already do like around 10 percent if we are seeing this uh, test here of 9900 coming up here um but let's see what is gonna happen in the next couple of hours because here also in the four hour we are getting very overbought here and if we go over into the bollinger band probably we are also still overshooting it to the upside yeah as you can see we also here way above the bollinger bands or retracement back down here is also very uh, likely macd shifted to the upside of course when bitcoin goes parabolic we can stay here above the bollinger band in the lower time frames for a very long time but sooner or later we will have a retracement back down to retest a support and this is where you want to scale in uh, a long position in a bull trend here and now let's go over to the daily time frame because here you can see where we bounced so far right here at the 50 daily moving average this is where i expected also some resistance yesterday i told you in this area up here we have a lot of action going on with support and resistance so it is very important that we're gonna break here this 9500 dollar in order to go immediately up here towards 9900 dollar and also test it the thing is that once we are able to start to fight this area most likely will mean that we're going to start to create and close candles above the 20 daily moving average which i need in order to have the confirmation that we are possibly going up here and have the breakout here to the upside because as long as we're trading above the 20 daily moving average so as long as we close candles above the 20 daily which currently is at around 9240 we are shifted to the upside and we should see the price moving towards our target in case that we are not seeing this daily closes above the 20 daily so watch out for today's close if we're gonna retrace towards the end of the day back below 9240 then this could signal that this was a fake out so be very careful and that's why maybe wait for confirmation wait for daily close and then scale in your trade because at the moment as i told you all in the last couple of videos we could still see here a fake out at the moment nothing is confirmed but this breakout here already is a very good sign and should indicate that we could be in here for a 10k retest rsi is also coming above the 50 level which is very bullish stochastic now shifted to the upside this is what we wanted to see and currently we are seeing it but also as i told you we need confirmation so the breakout is good but not yet confirmed and now let's go over to the bollinger band let's have a look here what's going on yeah as you can see we reached right here the top of the bollinger band of 9400 dollar if we are able to close today at least above 9220 we should be good to go and maybe that's why wait for the close of today then scale in your long position if you don't want to go with uh, a risk because right now uh, if you start to long right now then maybe you're uh, longing the top here uh, wait for this confirmation wait for today's close and then scale in your trade unless you want to make a little risky trade like i did yesterday just market order long in uh, then of course also now it's good to go but if you want to scale in a bigger trade then maybe wait for this confirmation macd is also shifted to the upside if you're able to close here above uh, in the upper area of the bollinger band and uh, now let's open up also the weekly what's going on here uh yeah we're still uh, trading uh, way above the 20 weekly moving average so way above eight thousand eight hundred dollar rsi above the 50 stochastic here more or less in neutral territory here we have a lot of room left to the upside and usually bitcoin always uh, retest this area here before another big leg to the upside so in case that we are able to break here this nine thousand nine hundred dollar the main resistance up here i think then we are good to go towards uh, 11 14 18 thousand and so on most likely after testing here this high here at around fourteen thousand, if we're able to break it then we have maybe another pullback to retest here the new support at around 10k and then have another leg up and break here this uh, previous high that we had at 14,000. this is what uh, i think this is like my prediction in case that we're gonna break out here and retest 14,000. and also don't forget we still have a cme gap at around twelve thousand dollar it's also possible that first we're going up there to fill it 
come back down retest support and then have the final move here to the upside and start the um, next uh, bull run so in the weekly still everything is bullish so no worries here now let's wait where we're gonna close here in the daily and lower time frames and uh, let's also have a look here on the s p 500 mini futures because also here you can see that we had a quite a nice push here to the upside because the s p 500 mini futures are still looking pretty bullish here we always had a close above the 20 daily and also today we had here a push to the upside and that's why i think bitcoin followed it perfectly um, as i told you we are in this potential bearish uh, pattern here rising wedges tends to break out to the downside the thing is that these patterns in a bull run usually also breaks to the upside and that's why you cannot just trust it because it's a bearish pattern that it will break out to the downside so also here maybe wait for a breakout to the upside or to the downside in case that you want to trade that because most likely bitcoin will follow here the s p 500 and um, i think if we are able here to break to the upside and also on bitcoin we will see big fireworks but if this bearish pattern is going to play out and here also we're going to crash maybe towards the 200 daily at 3130 then maybe also on bitcoin we're going to see something similar and if bitcoin is also coming down to test the 200 daily moving average then we should see the price uh, towards 8500 to 8600 dollars uh, you can also see that uh, here in the four hour we are also overbought and in the daily we have some room left but also here we could be forming uh, depending where we're going to close today's candle and also the rsi uh, possible bearish divergence like on nasdaq we have to see what will happen we have to wait for the daily close to decide what we're going to do next because uh, bearish divergence are bad signs but they don't have always to play out because in the Nasdaq we have now or also in the weekly time frame a bearish divergence and uh, if today we're gonna create um, a higher high so higher than this uh, 3240 close the daily candle above 3240 and also the RSI remains below this high over here then we will have here bearish divergence so we're gonna have here the RSI uh, with a lower high and the price with a higher high so that is uh, bearish and then we should expect a big dump and a possible play out of this uh, rising wedge and that's why be very careful if you're trading with long right now and uh, now let's go also over quickly to the nasdaq um, because also here we are pushing here straight to the upside uh, we still have this uh, bearish divergence in the weekly i think yes um, but as i told you if the rsi is coming higher here so if the uh, if the RSI is coming higher than this high that we had here with the high of uh, $117 and uh, also here we still uh, maintain here this higher high in the price then this bearish divergence gets uh, denied and it will not play out but as long as the RSI is staying down here below this high then is uh, this is very dangerous and we could expect at any time a big waterfall here and that's why be very careful in case that you're scaling in right now a big long position maybe better wait for confirmation but this breakout is bullish and we should see a continuation of it we just have to wait for this confirmation and for this retest of this uh, new support and i'm also keeping an eye on nasdaq and the s p 500 because most likely bitcoin will also follow the traditional markets if we're gonna see there a play out of one of these bearish divergences which could play out and with that said guys we're gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content leave a like subscribe to the channel also don't forget to sign up to our ten dollar worth of bitcoin weekly giveaway the subscription video is on right now and it's also popping up at the end of this video so make sure to subscribe to this giveaway you have to uh, subscribe to the channel and also in that video where it says subscription video put any comment you want and also your bitcoin address in order to participate on the giveaway i will select the winner randomly at the end of the week when it says a winner selection video so make sure to tune in here on youtube or if you have twitch also you find my twitch channel down below here in the video description everyone is also welcome to join our free discord trading chat the chat is for free everyone is welcome and if you need one of these exchanges where you can trade bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage so also with small amounts you can make nice gains then definitely go and check out my links down below here you can get some sign up bone in some exchanges and also you support the channel 
So thank you very much, my friends, and best regards from Peschici, Italy. Right now I'm going to the beach, enjoying here a bit the nice weather that we have. Happy trading, and we see us all in the next one. Bye.